And not only is there a life saved Godzilla on this island, but there's also a real life Dragon Quest RPG town and the scariest obstacle course I've ever been on. But where's all of this? It's located at Nijigen no Mori theme park on Awaji Island. Today we're gonna go into Godzilla's body. Let's go! This is the only place in the world where you can zipline into a huge Godzilla. So I set it up for my encounter with the Japanese beast. I feel very weird hanging something in between my legs like this. Do I look strong? Okay, enough jokes. It's time to face Japan's greatest enemy. Look at the mouth covered with blood. I wonder how many, how many humans in this Awaji Island was killed by him. We have to terminate him. As I got strapped in, I remembered something really important. I've never been on Ziplani in my life. Whoa, I'm going into the Godzilla's mouth! Godzilla! I'm gonna hunt you down! Ah! Ah! Dude, oh my gosh. Oh, still shaking my hands. So scary. I thought I would enjoy the scenery. No, that was very fast. Like, and then as all you could see is a big Godzilla's mouth coming close to you. It's just very, very horrifying. But our mission doesn't end here. Now that we're inside of Godzilla, we have to destroy the remaining active cells in his body. Using this rifle, I had to shoot the cells that lit up. The more I shot, the more points I got. At the end, the game showed me my ranking. They cannot say which rank I am. I'm too strong. <laughs> what do you mean? They, they mean deadly. That's the word. Deadly. After that, I checked out the Godzilla Museum that had a bunch of cool statues of different kinds of Godzillas. Me and Mr. Eats even got to be in our own Godzilla movie. big Godzilla fan, but this place definitely made me feel like I was in the actual movie. And as scary as the zipline was for me, it definitely didn't scare me as much as this insane obstacle course. But before that, I needed to check out this next place that's like a real life video game. That's right, this theme park has a Dragon Quest world! Oh, I don't know why this, this song makes me feel like a warrior. On Dragon Quest Island, I was given a mission to help the king find a stolen amulet that would bring peace to the kingdom. Every player is given this special pendant that keeps track of your character's stats and progress. After that, you let loose into a Dragon Quest world. This is this is like a real game RPG world. Scattered around the world are these sensors that you touch your pendant to. This lets you talk to villagers, interact with different items, and fight monsters. But first, we need to get armed. Our mission, to collect the materials to craft armor and weapons. We had to search the whole town to find the hidden treasure chest that contained the materials. Wow. Wow, this is, this is the treasure chest. Wow, this is the house in the game, right? It was actually kind of tricky to do because the chests were well hidden. But we were able to get hints from the villagers and eventually find all the materials. While we were exploring, I found these gold coins hidden around the town to collect. Actually, I have no idea what to do with them, but I love the sound it made. So finally, we got the lot of armors and the weapons. Now we are ready to fight the monsters. Now that we have weapons and armor, it's time to fight monsters! In the field, I encountered my first enemy. Battles take place on these giant screen outside. During the battle, I had to do special poses to help my fighters deal extra damage to the monsters. Monsters are defeated! In the field, you could see stronger and more deadly monsters for you to fight. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to finish the whole experience, but I loved it. Oh, Dragon Quest Island was so much fun. So much thing to do. We actually couldn't make, make it to the end, but it's pretty interesting because it's 
usually theme park is like a kind of inside, how to say, artificial building and stuff. But this is in the middle of the forest. They made this big forest into the Dragway, Dragon Quest Island, which feels refreshing. At the same time, I feel like it's like a hiking and playing the game at the same time. So, definitely, definitely I recommend you guys come here. But now, it's time to face the most terrifying obstacle course I've ever been in my life. Are we doing this? Yes. No. Yes. No, yes. no, no, no. Don't I'm not gonna do this. First of all, I'm terrified of heights. We are going to try Korean Shin Chan's athletic adventure. I'm going to take the nani, intermediate course. I'm not very good at being in a high place, but we are here. We have to do it, right? Wish me luck. Looking at it from the ground, I thought I could try the intermediate level. But when I got to the starting point, that's when the fear kicked in. It looks very scary. Once you start, you cannot go back. That's the rule here. I'm, I'm really scared. Luckily, nobody was behind me, so it was easy to leave. Sorry, guys. It's real. I really can't. I'm got so scared. I saw the over the red, red bridge. I, I can't. But I didn't want to give up, so I decided to try the beginner's course. This might be. I can do it. Oh, what a fool I was to say that. How can this be fun? <laughs> I feel like I'm a fish. The first obstacle had me crossing these star-shaped platforms. Did I tell you that I'm afraid of heights? Because I've never made that sound in my life. The whole thing was so shaky and I only have these ropes to hold on to. I don't think I've hugged anything that hard in my life. I really wanted to turn around, but I didn't want to go back to across that bridge. So I decided to keep going. The next part had this stupid thing. Whoever designed this was sick. But luckily, I found a way to get past it. Look, it just gets easier now. But it wasn't over yet. I need to crawl through this wooden tunnel. As you can see, I was terrified for my life. But suddenly, I got a burst of courage and was able to fly through the next part. Just kidding, that was the guy I called for help. That's me back there, holding onto the pole for dear life. The thing is, I've never even climbed a rock wall before. So to make me face my biggest fear while also drilling something I've never done was just evil. And no, those sounds weren't panic farts. I don't know what it was, but it definitely wasn't panic farts. But just when I thought it was over, I had to face the hardest part. Crossing this bridge without the rope to hold on to. I grabbed onto my lifeline and made it to across to this thing. Again, the designers of this park are sick. But 
eventually, I made it to the end and then survived! Before we get in, you have to sign up the document. The first one said that they are not responsible for any physical and mental damage you might get from this athletic bug. I didn't understand. Physically, maybe, yeah, if you fall down or something, but mentally, I didn't understand. I had a mental breakdown. I was like, a tear was coming out, and I was, my nose was running because I was so embarrassed and scared at the same time. Maybe I can do it. So I held my tears and then walked through here. Please find Neo if you have any trouble. He will help you. He's a hero. Hero. <laughs> but you know what the weird thing was? After I finished the beginner's course, I kind of wanted to try the intermediate course again. But before that, I needed some comfort food. And luckily, Nijigen no Mori had some really incredible meals that I'm going to show you in this upcoming video. So stay tuned for it! Big thank you to Pasona Group for letting us to take part in this incredible experience. Thanks for watching! Okini!